Welcome, here we go. So I have the tangent of theta equals the square root of three. And this one's a little bit more difficult because it's not as, as obvious as looking at the unit circle and saying, oh, when is tangent equal to the square root of three? Because we want to find the angle. So we look at this and we remember the tangent of any angle equals the y over the x coordinate. Well, so that means I have to take the y over the x coordinate and divide them and see which one is going to give me the square root of three. So there's only a couple possibilities. And I'm going to kind of write all of them up here so you can see what, they're, uh, what we'll be working with. So therefore, I have my y over my x for here. Um, then I could also do square root of 3 divided by 2 divided by 1 half. And then also I have square root of 3 divided by 2, I'm sorry, 1 half. 1 half divided by square root of 3 divided by 2. And what I did is I just took the y and the x coordinate of each of my coordinate points in the unit circle of the right of the um, first quadrant, and I put them here. Well, here, once we notice is these, when you take your y over x for this coordinate for 45 degrees, that quickly goes to 1. Over here, what we know is if you could multiply by the reciprocal to get rid of your fractions, and what you notice is that multiplies out to 1. And then this, my 2's will divide out to 1. And I'm just left with the square root of 3. So therefore, that's actually going to be my answer. And when I look at this is, I say, what is, when is my y coordinate square root of 3 over 2 and my x coordinate 1 half? And we notice that's going to be 60 degrees. So therefore, I can just write theta equals 60 degrees or pi over 3 radians. And this one is not going to be the answer because as I multiply by my reciprocal, Again, my 2's will divide out, but I'm left with 1 over square root of 3. And as I would simplify that further, I would get square root of 3 divided by 3. So therefore, our only answer that's going to make this correct is going to be 60 degrees or pi over 3 radians. Thanks.